It's probably something. I know it. Ticketable. It's logical. So right now, it's uh, 1 19 a.m. July 12th, 2014. You know what, and James Robin Hood Cleveland is about to roll through a DUI checkpoint in Manchester, New Hampshire. Dramatic. I'm going to be dash cam plus James, passenger have you, cam. Have you driven through a checkpoint before? Yes. In the rear, how we many, have. How many have you gone through? Uh, Objectivist Girl and the Voluntary S Rebel. This maybe be my second. Maybe three. Out. How did your first checkpoint go, Rob? I didn't get kidnapped, so it went pretty damn well. Oh, it's always here when you're not getting kidnapped. Well, there was only one person tonight who's been kidnapped, so he says, right? Yeah, we asked him. Uh, I wonder if anyone got a visual on that. That's too bad. It's not like so, enough kidnappings don't happen in the, the world, like we need more. The direction we're heading now, we're going to be passing that checkpoint up on the left. Are you going to slow down for a little bit? I should time it where... Oh, it looks like we're going through it. Looks like they don't have a lot of customers. I'm going to put your seatbelt on. Why? Because that noise will keep going. Looks like they're oh. pretty bored. wonder if that has like they a got free seat project. They tell us. They're, they actually have come over to the Free State Project um, and told them when they're going to coffee break so that we can go for a coffee break. Wait, what do you mean they tell the Free State Project? Like they that. tell people that are out here holding signs okay. that they're going for coffee and that they can take a break. And you believe them? Yeah, they actually are legitimately, we've checked on it, they legitimately go for a coffee break. Oh my gosh. You guys are all under arrest. Oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> I think what they're commenting on is that James's car is like this one. It's a police cruiser. Should get a shot of the outside if I can. Wanna be cop car? You better cool. How do I get back on the main drag there? So what are you feeling right now, James? You want to respond? I don't got my radio. Yeah. This is Dapper Dan. I hear you, Red Lobster. What's up? Rest them all. <laughs> You're under arrest. Hey guys. Hey guys. If there are people. Hey, five dollars, man. Five dollars. Protesting. Protesting. Yeah, right around it. Oh, look at your sign up there. It looks perfect. Look at that reflective oh, yeah. tape. Yeah. Wow. No one could miss that. All right, it's time Here to go, go through the checkpoint. The shoot. Be careful of the police. Can we put the windows up? Yep. Yeah. James, I'm going to get as close to your personal space as I can to get good audio on that officer and also get a visual on his face. Okay. Just giving you a heads up. Maybe we should, maybe we should ask. I think they'll uh, try and pull over one of their own. <laughs> maybe, we'll see. I should ask. 
Dogfort and Dapper Dan in caravan approaching police checkpoint. There's Pedro and Riaz. All of the reflective vests on the right there. Are they going to wave me now? Uh, they're going to. Awesome. Got nothing else better to do. Well, you're getting waved down. You know, we took all their uh, mobile phone out of it. We were just here just to, to save people. Can I help you? Yes, Captain Hopkins, Manchester Police. We're doing a sobriety checkpoint tonight. Do you have your driver's license with you, sir? If you unroll the window, they can probably film you. Do you have your driver's license with you? Am I obligated to answer? I can't hear you. I said, am I obligated to answer? You're obligated to provide your driver's license if you're operating a motor vehicle in the state of New Hampshire and you're stopped by the police. What, uh, why was I stopped tonight? We're doing a court order sobriety checkpoint and you were stopped for the checkpoint so we could uh, check your sobriety. Now that I have you stopped, I'd like to see your driver's license, which you are required to produce as a driver in the state of New Hampshire. Which, uh, which RSA is that? You want to go look it up for you? I don't know the number. Well, I'm, I'm not in a huge rush. I can wait if you want to. Are you going to produce your license, sir? I mean, I feel like I'm I'm under license? duress. I will produce my license under duress. Well, that's fine. Okay. Can I just tell you who I am, and you guys can see if I have a license? I'd like to see you have to produce your driver's license. So. Okay. I'm giving it to you under duress. Okay, I'll, I'm accepting. I'm sorry, I'm making you duress. <laughs> All right. Here's your license back, sir. I hope that your stress level has come down since I've given your license back to you. We hand these surveys out to checkpoints. I'm sure you'd like to fill that out and mail that back to me. There's an address at the bottom. You're all set to go. How, how often do you guys do these? Oh, I don't know, several times a year. Do you think that this is a good use of police resources to be out here? It's great. I'm all done with you. You can leave. Am I required to leave? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to exercise my rights under Article 8 of accountability. I'd like to just chat with you a little bit longer. Is that okay? No. We're all done. You're all set to go. I'm done chatting with you. So normally... You're free to go. I don't want your duress level to go up. <laughs> well... Because obviously, I, I guess we, I, you're not duressed enough that you want to sit here and talk to me now. I mean, I just... I want to ask you about these checkpoints. Okay, well... Am I'm I able done. to do that? No, I'm not answering any of your questions. If I, if I park my vehicle and come back, will you speak with me? No. No, I got a job to do and you'll keep me from doing it, so... You so... Go. So all these officers are out here, you're saying you're the only one that can do this right now? I'm sorry? I said with all these other officers, you're the only person that can do this? Get do what? what? Whatever role you're doing right now, you guys are not interchangeable in some way? I'm not quite sure what, you, what you're asking. Uh, well, I'm just, I'm just curious if I can um, pick your brain a little bit about what you guys are doing here tonight. because no, you're holding things up. We're all done. Go. Sir, you have to leave. Okay, I'm I'm gonna come back on foot. Is that okay? You're gonna come what? I'm gonna walk back on foot. Is that okay? Will you I'm speak not to me? I'm gonna talk to you. I'm out here doing a job. I'm done with you. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Well, I don't want to hold up traffic. I feel like you guys are the ones holding up traffic, though. Let's go. Yeah, I'm leaving. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Have a nice night. How do you feel that went? It's ridiculous. I mean, so supposedly you have this right of accountability under the New Hampshire Constitution where basically it says that all public officials and their servants and their agents, I don't remember the exact language, are at all times to be accountable to the people basically. And obviously that's not the case. I mean, I wanted to have a conversation about what they're doing and I wasn't going to take up that much of that gentleman's time. But obviously he didn't want to talk to me, unfortunately. Do you think that he knew the definition of the word duress? I don't think he understood it. I think he thought I meant d distress. That's what he, I think he was I using it in that context. Level. Yeah. It appeared to me he did not know the definition of the word duress. <laughs> well, to me, duress means I'm being forced to do something with a, under threat, basically. 
some duress to do it. You know, I don't know what he thinks it means. Can you give a synonym for what you meant by duress? Um, yeah, basically, you're, you're threatened to do something. I don't know another word for I call it being coerced. Extortion, maybe? I guess it's not. Yeah, coercion, that's a good synonym for it. Where are you heading now? I guess I'm gonna go park and try to talk to the guy. I'd like to get video of that. Okay. I'm gonna, so my plan is I'm gonna park and I'm gonna go talk to him. If you don't wanna talk to me, I guess I'm gonna ask who's in charge of the checkpoint tonight. I suspect it's him. Is he, he looks a little older and he looks a little larger. That's usually how the police operate. He said he's a captain, so. Yeah, it's a big who can eat the most donuts contest. <laughs> <laughs> that one gets to be cheap. Is there somewhere I can park closer down here somewhere? Uh, just go, no, you can't park down there. The best way is just to park here on Notre Dame and walk down. Okay. Alright. Oh, sweet. I'm in. Whatever you guys want to do. Well, I'm going to get a shot of the car that we're in, just so the folks who are watching this video who've never seen James's car can know what the car looked like when it rolled up to this police stop. Where's your vest? It's very unofficial. One. I think I look pretty official. James. Yeah. Ooh. 